Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to 13 Sentinels. Today we're going to be going through some more of the stories of Keitaro Miura and Nenji Ogata. And of course, we're going to be doing some battle as well, which is one of my favorite parts of this game. I know I don't talk about it too much in these intros, but I do really, really enjoy the combat in this game. It's so unique um, to anything that I've really played, and I'm a big fan. With that being said, Let's check out the video today. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so let's do Keitaro Miura. The scout unit Natsuno Minami calls BJ showed Keitaro Miura a log from 2188. The footage stated that Yuki Takamiya is Minami's mother. I remember this. Okay. May 1985. Clear skies, monitoring the Sentinel from Kaede River, as we do. Mira's no favorite pastime. At least the sunset is always the same. Okay. Yes, back to the Kaede Riverbed. That scout unit is an alien from the future. At least that's what Natsuno-san says. The footage he showed us is allegedly from the future. If it's real, then how am I still alive 200 years from now? That is a good question, isn't it, Mira? All I know for certain is that it's no ordinary scout unit. She's from 1985. She seems to know about the existence of other Sentinels. Is that how she's able to travel through time? Maybe there's another way. In any case, she appears to be a central figure in all this. Could she still be at school? Oh, let's go to Sakura High School. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, there's Megumi. And Fluffy. Oh, Miracon. What were you doing? Talking to a cat? Megumi-san. Do you know where the track room is? Yes. Oh, right. Have you seen Juro around anywhere? No. Nope. I see. Maybe he went home already. For dinner tonight. What should I make? I don't know. Hamburger? Our favorite. We could have Hamburger. Again? No, no, that's all right. I'm fine with anything. Well, let's see. Hamburger! Every We've night! Had nothing but meat these last few days. I think I want to make some fish for Juro. Okay, I better run to the store. I'll see you later. Whatever. Let's go to the athletics building. Natsuno-san's over there. Again. Me again? Minami isn't here today. Must have been really important. She even ditched practice. Is that so? Hey, are you Minami san's boyfriend? How far have you two gone? What? No, you've got it all wrong. That escalated very quickly. Do you happen to know where she went? She All she know said me. was that she was in a hurry. But I don't know where she went. I know where. She went over to Tokisaka Shrine. What's she doing there? Not sure. I didn't ask. Where did she... I know you're back there! I can see the tip of your skirt still. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? 
That's where I first met her. But it was back in my own era. Let's go there. Ah, see? I knew you were still there, Ryoko. Amazing. The shrine's hardly changed at all. The surrounding thicket, on the other hand, that has changed considerably. Yeah, it looks really awful compared to how it used to look. This loud, bright vending machine right here and all this trash, trash cans and shit. I don't see Natsuno-san anywhere. I wonder if she's hiding behind the trees again. What I'd give to see that. No luck. We couldn't find it. <laughs> I wonder where it could be. Natsuno-san. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Uh, what are you doing out so late? And why are you here of all places? Natsuno-san, what was that just now? There was a big flash of light and you just... appeared. Just like when I came to this era in my Sentinel. Same flash of light and everything. I, uh... Come to think of it, this happened at the shrine back when we first met, too. There was a similar flash, almost like lightning. I get it now. You have to come here to travel through time. What do we do, BJ? Kill him! Please he knows too much! What's going on. I just want to go home. Are you just going to leave your sentinel behind? Oh yeah, that's how you got here. What are you going to do with it? Can't really do much with it right now. Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through... Oh, we've, we've heard that already. I'll figure out how to deal with the Sentinel later. It's Shihiro, my little sister. If there's any chance she made it out of that hell alive, then I have to find out. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. BJ, think you can make it happen? I don't think she's actually your sister, I'm sorry. Let's time travel to 1945. Ooh, okay. Fine. Activate date. Setting coordinates to sector 5. That data unit. So it was with Natsuno Minami all this time. <gasps> you leave BJ alone. Are we back? Is it really that easy to travel through time? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? If we have the power to travel freely through time, can I just send the Sentinel back to before the war starts? Nope, that's impossible. We can't just jump around as far as we want. We can only travel 40 years at a time. Besides, this is as far back in the past as we can go. I see. That's unfortunate. For now, let's find Shihiro. Okay, yeah, this should be good. Alright, let's go. Shihiro Morimura. Where are you at? She's most likely at an evacuation shelter. If not, then I might find her at the Karabe's house. Let's find Chihiro. What's going on? The place is deserted. 
The factory and station are both empty. Radios are down. No one's answering. Where is everyone? Dead, maybe? I mean, the place looks thoroughly destroyed. If she's... We don't have a family burial plot where I'd find her. I have no idea what's happened to her. She's either alive somewhere in this world, or... You see that? It's that creature. Okay, so... That thing is an alien weapon, and it's here to invade Earth. The Sentinels were created to fight them off. This is just like what happened in the city from the future. After the aliens invaded, everyone was gone. Wait. If people are disappearing in the past, what's happening to everyone in my era? I don't know. That's... Oh, I see. Tamao. Son. What happened? Vital signs are failing. Condition is too critical for life support. Tamao son, where's Chihiro? Chihiro, John is. Tamao Karabe's flashback. <laughs> Koto san, what are you doing? Let me go! Please calm down, Miss Morimura. <laughs> Chihiro chan, where do you plan on taking her? <laughs> I apologize for what I've done to you, but you have no reason to worry. <laughs> Wait! He just leaves her there. Oh my god. Goto! Goto. The one who was giving you medicine. <sighs> Tamao san! Uh, is that what happens to. She disappeared. That's not normal. What, what's going on? Why did she disappear? Does that mean the aliens got her? Probably. It's likely that everyone is being held there. Oh. Until this world comes to an end. It's like everyone's with the masterminds, whoever they are. Whoever they are. We have some mystery files updated. Is it anything that we have um, unlocked? Tamao Kurabe, 1945. In 1945, Tamao exhausts herself in the burning ruins of the post-Kaiju invasion and disappears as Kato Mira and the others watch. However, she is not truly dead. Instead, she remi remains under life support inside her pod, waiting for the end. Inside her pod? Renya Goto. After seeing Morimura's logs in the mainframe, Goto visits the Kurabe house in 1945 to abduct Morimura's clone, Chihiro, and restore her original memories. Yes, we know this. Okay. All right. Mira. Let's see. Let's go back here. Let's do some more. Chihiro. Goto. He's the one who took Chihiro from me. He might be the same guy that Tamao-san gets her pills from. Renya Goto. He's the one who took Chihiro from me. If he's in 1985, then Chihiro will be with him. Okay. Sounds like we gotta find Goto. If we can. 
I think we need to consider more things. According to the history of this era, it has indeed been 40 years. But this era doesn't seem to be based on the era I'm from. The two aren't connected. Perhaps this isn't really time travel after all. That's what I've been thinking. It's not. It's not. Back in 1945, everyone mysteriously vanished. But here in 1985, 40 years later, there's no historical evidence or impact from that event. It reminds me of a concept I read about in a science book. The idea of two similar parallel worlds. According to Natsuno-san, a boy named Renya Goto attends school in this era. He can apparently travel through time too. And BJ said he's from 80 years in the future. That scout unit is an alien from the future. At least that's what Natsuno-san says. The footage he showed us is... Okay. So can we go to the school now? Oh, gaze. The lights in this era stay on at night. No need to carry a lantern around. I need to consider more shit. The kaiju aren't secret U.S. military weapons. They're alien invaders from the future. And the sentinels are the tools we need to defeat them. Our mother's terrible at sewing. Even if I do bring the sentinel back home, how can I bring myself to fight? The ones I swore to protect are gone. Okay. What are we... Didn't we... Natsuno-san. Get it together, Keitaro. She certainly is quite... Yes. What? I admit, she's bright, cheerful, attractive. Booty shorts? But right now, I have more urgent matters to tend to. Could he be at the school? I don't care what it takes. I'm going to find him. And I'm going to get Chihiro back. There we go. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, now we're looking for Goto. So I still think, like... I'm not sure if this is... Correct, or how, like, close or far off I am from the mark. Because I'm sure there's gonna be new revelations that, like... You know, make this theory sound absolutely ridiculous. But I feel like we are in the future of 1985. And all the time... All the times that we've been traveling to are not actually those times, but they're all kind of existing at the same time, sometime in the distant future from 2188 or whatever. Um, and they're all just like pockets created in, in that little, that structure that we saw when we were with Amiguchi and and Yuko, uh, Yuki. And we're just traveling between like different levels of that structure. Um, as opposed to past and future. But I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go to the athletics building once again. Not sure why we're looking for Goto there. Perfect timing. I was just about to go looking for you. I guess we wanted to find her first. I've been worried about you, Miyara-kun. Thanks, but I'm fine. In fact, I came here to find Renya Goto. 
But I have no idea what he looks like or how he dresses. Could you point him out to me? That might be a little tough. Goto-senpai hasn't been back on campus. I asked around and no teacher knows where he lives. Well, that's a problem. <sighs> oh, Natsuno-chan! Miwako! Done with practice already? Oh, you have that picture of Goto-senpai, right? The one you took when he wasn't looking? Uh, hey! Not so loud! <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> so do you have it? Yeah. Yes, this is it! She just carry Here around I pictures of cute guys Look, in her bag all day? Goto-senpai. Pardon my interruption. He's the tall guy in the back. This here is Renya Goto? The one with the glasses? Yep, that's him. Thanks, Miwako. <sighs> Natsuno-chan. What's going on between you and that guy? Huh? Nothing's going on. <laughs> Just a normal, <laughs> casual friendship. Yeah. <gasps> casual? You mean... N no! Not that. <laughs> Is she thinking like friends with benefits or something? <laughs> Mimako, you dirty, dirty girl. Get your mind out of the gutter. How could this be? The man I saw at the park was Renya Goto. Yes. The bastard who kidnapped Chihiro. Let's go to the park. Oh, he just runs off. There's Fluffy just chilling. 1600 hour hours. So 4 p.m. Oh. Well, there she is. Chihiro? Nope. It really I mean, is, it yeah. is Chihiro, but. Isn't it? Please say something. Not the one you know. Hero. Okay, we need to do something specific here. I found this. It survived the air raid. I meant to give it back to you earlier. This is your favorite stuffed animal, isn't it? Big, big brother. Don't lose it again, all right? Chihiro, it really is you. I'm so relieved you're safe. Mm. Some not right here, though, don't you think, Mira? I suppose it's true. Mm. It's not like my memories were displaced. My blissful dependency as your little sister. It's become part of my identity. Denial can cause enormous strain to one's psyche. Chihiro? <laughs> I've never heard you use the words like that before, Chihiro. Are you okay? Better than okay. I've regained my original memories. I'm Chihiro Morimura. Morimura? Poor Mira. insisted on keeping that a secret. Yet you gave it away in the end. It's you. Sometimes a bold change in plans is necessary. You'd know that better than anyone. Wouldn't you, Goto-kun? Oh, what's that about? I didn't expect to see you here. Well, you kidnapped my sister. What the hell did you do to Chihiro? I don't appreciate the hostility. But what you see here is Chihiro in her original state. She was never your little sister to begin with. Shut up! I'm not listening to a word you say. I won't forgive you. And I will avenge Tamao-san. I believe you misunderstand the situation. Chihiro, 
Listen to your big brother and come with me. We're going. Where exactly? Back to 1945 where no one's left? Don't you see? It doesn't matter where we run. <laughs> She's definitely not talking like a child. If we have any hopes of preventing the loop, we need to prioritize gaining control over all systems. You've always been the dependable type. You used to be an excellent design engineer. What are you talking about? I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. That's what you told me, remember? So please, cooperate. <sighs> but you're not my Chihiro anymore. Is everything prepared, Gotokun? Already. Good. Then I shouldn't waste any more time. Let's hurry. Chihiro! <laughs> Don't even bother. Get out of my way! Chihiro is coming with me. She's being targeted for assassination. <laughs> and she I is. Doubt you have the capacity to protect her. What? Who would... Hey, Seki Gahara. Yes. Should you decide to cooperate, let me know. <sighs> Seki Gahara. Did he travel through time too? Is that how he got here? Flashback. 1944. Tamao-san. What were they doing on the floor? That looks very questionable. The military police are gone for now. How are things looking? They're searching for Kiriko-san. I can't believe she's a spy. They seem to think she's associated with him. He must have dragged her into this. I just don't understand. Why protect a wanted man? <sighs> that woman... Her name isn't Kiriko Doji. And she doesn't come from this world. You're a lunatic. I don't get it. What could she want with the Sentinel? You know about the Sentinel? You really are a spy. If she were to try and escape, she'd likely use the gate. If we leave now, we might be able to catch up to her. Seki Gahara-san, please, I have to know the truth. I was told that my parents aren't really my parents, and that I was brought here from the future. Is that what Kiriko Doji told you? I don't know why she'd lie, but... I think that explains the dreams I keep having. She's tampered with your memories. Uh. He's out of his mind. Don't listen to a word he says to Mao san We I should know. just turn him in. Makes sense to me. Keitaro san, please. I don't want it to come to that. Keitaro? As in Keitaro Miura? Oh. How the hell do you know my name? I see. So it's you. What are you on about now? You and I have been fighting alongside each other. I've never seen you before in my life. The Miura of this era hasn't. The Miura of the future has. The future? Yes. He no longer has his physical body. Yeah, he's in that consciousness sentinel. consciousness is currently stored inside a scout unit. Well. Then, Keitaro-san is... BJ. One and the same. I've had enough of this nonsense. Mira's just all over the place. His consciousness is just all, all in all, all the places. <laughs> right? You, come with me. I'm taking you in. Don't move. <gasps> Sekigahara and his damn gun every time. Like you said, I'm out of my mind. 
Poison is coursing through my brain as we speak. Okay. 75% progress with Mira. All right, let's see what we have updated. Tamau Kurabe of 1945. Once Tamau hears from Kiriko Doji that her parents aren't her real ones and that she was brought here from the future, she can't help but sense that it's the truth. Professor Doji suspects that Tsukasa Okino, who gave refuge to Eisagi Gahara, is a spy that stole intel. He tries to get the military to capture him. And, oh, stuffed rabbit. Keito Mira retrieved the stuffed rabbit from the air raid wreckage and handed it to Chihiro when they were reunited at Ayami Park in 1985. Okay. So I guess we... When we see the child Chihiro, Morimura, maybe we can ascertain kind of where in the timeline we're seeing, uh, depending on if she has the stuffed rabbit or not. Maybe that's the reason for that. He's locked. Okay, we need to get to... Okay. Um, let's go back to Nenji. Tomi. Yuki, and then some destruction, I think. Or maybe we'll do Nenji and then some destruction, then Tomi. Because I we need to get to Area 5 to unlock Natsuno, and she's blocking a bunch of people from progressing, so... We need to clear Wave 5. Okay. Nenji. Nenji Ogata! like that maybe you've got a point i should slow down and think a little all right i get it yeah. just don't move from here not one step don't move so we're back here with the with the time loop the last thing we did, Nenji Ogata found Ryoko Shinonome and Eisa Gigahara collapsed on the floor inside the train. As he reported back to the mysterious voice, he caught a glimpse of the person behind the stack, static, which was, of course, Okino. Okay, weird voice. I saw that person trying to order me around in the capsule. I only caught a flash, but it's that guy hanging out with Fuyusaka. Yes. I want to ask you something. If you knew the world was going to end in a couple of minutes, how would you spend them? Uh, where's all this coming from? I just want to know how you feel. Well, a few minutes, huh? That's not a lot of time. Time's up, you're dead. <laughs> well, uh, I can't really get anywhere in a few minutes. So, I guess... I spend them with you. I'll just be a second. I just need you to wait here for me. That okay? Uh, fine. She's adorable. All right, what are we doing? Exactly. Let's go this way. Oh, right. That guy. Wajima. I'm not going near those guys this time. No time for their bullshit. Okay. I didn't even see Wajima, but okay, let's go this way. Right, there's Okino. Oh, Ogata kun. What's wrong? Out of my way. Damn. You're the one I got beef with. Okino, you're the one. I saw you, you asshole. Oh, what are you talking about? Drop the act. How'd you put me in that capsule? Why do you keep putting me back here? I really have no idea what you're saying. Bullshit, you don't! He doesn't. We 
got two ways to do this, kid. Either you talk, or I make you talk. I... Uh... Wait, don't run! You think you can run?! You know, you asshole. What's going on here? Can he see me? I'm on to you, bastard. Get me out of this capsule thing. Capsule? Did he figure it out? What's our next move? Oh, hi, Hijiyama. Wait, you're the... You're here too? Now I remember. Hijiyama. You came out of nowhere with that sucker punch. I gave you plenty warning. Don't act like I pulled some low down trick. It's not my fault if you can't take a punch. You son of a. <sighs> well, he's awake. What do we do now? Don't oh. worry about it. We're not done yet. Where am I? I've been here this whole time? What's going on here? You don't have to know. You're going right back in. No, I don't wanna. <gasps> okay, now. You said you'd help us, right? Then you gotta do something before the attack hits. Can't you save any of the others? An attack? Wait, you mean... Those things are the true foes of the Sentinels? Exactly. What I need to find is the reason for the attack. So now we're here. Trying to find the key that controls the D-forces. One person's commanding these kaiju to come here, right? One out of these 15 people? So you knew. Yes. Fifteen children's lives were manipulated so that they would destroy the world. They broadcast command signals from their body, even if they don't want to or don't even know. Those signals create the kaiju and then beckon them here. But why? Like the old guy was saying. So, are there lots of keys? No, just one. Out of all fifteen, only one has the key that controls them. One out of the 15 has a key that controls them. So you need a key to command them. Wait, didn't she say something about that? The first person who had this key. Wait, who? Oh. Moimura? That League of Darkness lady said something about this. She said I was the one who had the key first. But I don't know anything about that. I don't remember anything anyway. Of course you don't. The control key is a code for a program. You're one of those 15 people. Up until two months ago, the commands were coming from you. Seriously? It was me? It used to be. Now, though, well, from what I hear, that had already changed by the time we caught you. Now, another person's got the key. And they're the ones sending out the signal to start an apocalypse. What? Okay, so this key is actually a program. How do you even look for something like that? Well, to you, it'll look like a standard metal key. At least, within that station. What do you mean? I need to see who got the control key after you. The idea was to just pull the data out of you. But whatever happened is really bound up in your personal memories. Which means you're the only one who can dig that information out. Poor Ninji. That's why you're in the chair, and I'm on the tech side. Oh, thanks. I'm making it so you can find that key for me. Hold on a second. We better cooperate. You're telling me that whole station is... You've been in this chair this whole time. 
That station is an illusion created from your memories. You gotta be kidding. Well, that explains why Morimura can, like, change age and outfit, like, on the fly like that. I see now. That's how you broke out of the simulation. Even I'm there at the station. You piggybacked on my access ID. I guess that'd get you clear of control. Well, I can fix that right now. Okay, now we're all on the same page. So, let's jump back in. Uh, hey, hold on! Don't squirm. Trust me, you don't want that tech coming off by force. You might never wake up. <sighs> Find the key. My apologies for hitting you. But you need to take this seriously. If you want to be free, help us. That's your only option. Hmm. They could have explained it a little bit better and maybe he would have, you know, like from the get go, maybe he would have been more on board with it. Because <laughs> they're just like, find the key, not explaining what it is, what it looks like, just, you know, who he's trying to find it from, just find the key and then having him loop back all the time is like, of course he's not going to find it. He doesn't know what the fuck is going on. Okay, what do we have? Anything? Tsukasa Okino. In order to prevent the kaiju from destroying the world, Okino searches for whoever is sending the decode signal that calls the kaiju. So Ogata was sending the signal, but um, now he is not. Someone else is. Someone of the 15. Okay. What? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> We can resume. Okay, so after Nenji Ogata pressured Tsukasa Okino, who was the identity of the mysterious voice, everything suddenly changed and Ogata found himself strapped to a chair in Okino's hideout. Hmm. More. More, more, more. More, more, more. I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. What's wrong? You're not real. You're in my brain. You're not the real Kisaragi. You're just some ghost of her in my brain. What are you talking about? Is your head okay? Did you eat something bad? Don't even talk to me. Damn, that's cold. What if she got the key? What's wrong? I didn't... I didn't cross a line, did I? Hey, could you not ignore me? Bye. Oh, she following me. Oh, Okino removed himself, so Ogata can't... Oh, we can move way over here now, but I don't see anybody. Let's talk to Fuyusaka. Guess that means she came from my head too? Huh? Huh? I don't really know Fuyasaka that well. So maybe that's it? I just got her mixed up with the school nurse? No, you're... no. No, no, no. Hey Fuyasaka, where'd Okino go? Okino? Who's that? <sighs> Fancy meeting you here. I guess. He said he was gonna Iori, fix it. your place isn't this way, right? This is what he meant. Where are you going? I've just <sighs> got a thing over in Sitsuji. Juro. Karabe. Yeah, you weren't too off when you were seeing uh, uh, Iori as all those different I versions of Morimura. You. Hey, do you have a key? Right, you don't take the train to school, do you? Guess I don't, but who cares? I can still take the train if I want. It's not a crime. Oh, 
So, you got a key on you? What kind of key? The key to summon the kaiju. Summoning kaiju, huh? What? That weird? I don't really have time to indulge those childish fantasies. Now that's weird. Last I heard, you were way into that shit. <laughs> well, what a shame. Looks like my train's here. Which means this conversation is over. That was a little foreboding. Hey, that's the wrong train. Hey, you're not real. Shut up. <laughs> Very suspicious. Although, is it just because Ninji is suspicious of him? So that's why the Juro in Ninji's mind is acting like that. Or is it because he really is sus? So you followed me. Why'd you run? Huh? You're on the wrong train, Nenji Ogata. Doesn't matter which one I take. Same damn thing happens anyway. I always get taken out by the kaiju. Yeah, that about sums it up. You're not Karabe. <sighs> well, that's just embarrassing. I really need to hide my tracks better. Oh, shit! Never figured you'd come looking to take it back. Who the hell are you? Drew is a me. Or two six? Uh, he disappeared. That freaked me out. Oh, God. Oh. Natsuno? What are you doing here? That's Minami behind you. And look what she's got. I don't know how I know, but that's the key. Gotta be. Does Natsuno have Do the key? Do you know anything about what kind of code this is? Do you even know what you've been looking for? It summons the kaiju. There's no point in digging this up. You don't even know what this key is. <laughs> I know the key is a program that controls the kaiju. And now I know Natsuno Minami's got it. If you know that, then why are you on their side? You think you know what they're gonna do with it? They can't save anyone. Don't trust them. You know what they'll do to her? Do you have any idea what Natsuno Minami will go through? Who is this? Is this Juro Izumi or is it Juro Izumi? <laughs> is it 426 or is it. What, like I'm supposed to trust you instead? I don't even know who you are. I'm Juro Izumi. But which one? A version of Juro Karabe from another world. The other world! What the hell? I've come to save you. I thought you Dr. were the Karabe bad guy! Here, to protect her control key. You shot everyone! Fine. Trust me or don't. I don't care. Just forget about finding the key. I can't do that. That key's gonna destroy the world, right? If you let me handle this, you won't regret it. But if they found out that Natsuno Minami has the key, you think they'd be nice about getting it out of her? Got a point. Mm. These sickos already kidnapped me and messed with my brain. Minami might end up the same way. They might break her. Leave her like Ryoko Shinonome. Ooh. Or they might just kill her. She's a pawn in their game. Just another sacrifice. <sighs> Think this through. I can't. I'm, I, my brain cannot keep up. My brain cannot keep up. Oh, it's not over. Report. Did you find it? No. I analyzed the station you're seeing. Basically, it's a visual representation of a kind of database. It kind of got tangled with your memories, so not everyone there will be relevant. 
but at least one of them has accessed the decode. You just need to find out who. Say I find this person with the key, right? What are you gonna do to him? Do you even need to ask? I'm going to cut off the D-Force's appearance. Once I control the commander, I control the kaiju. If that's impossible, I'll just destroy the control key. <sighs> Don't worry. You'll be free to go. Alright. I didn't say this before, but... This is an inherently risky process. The more loops we do, the more stress your brain gets put under. Mm. If you don't find it soon, I can't promise you'll survive. Am I clear? Okay, no. You need to investigate the people on that platform closely. Let's run it again. What the hell am I supposed to do? Now, Ninji is in quite the conundrum. Does he save himself? Does he protect himself or does he protect... Um, Natsuno. Okay, Nenji Ogata. Ogata was the original holder of the decode key, but Natsuno Minami is the one who currently has it. I wonder why it shifted to her and how. Also called the decode for short, it is broadcasted by someone designated the commander, which gives the signal for the kaiju to attack. I'm trying to think, did, did she and him come into some kind of contact that... I don't remember... Okay, based on what the Juro Izumi from Another World said, Nenji got to realize that Natsuno Minami was the one with the key. However, he has also learned that sharing the is this information might jeopardize Minami's safety. Um, let's stop here. Um, let's do a freaking battle. I am trying to figure out like i'm tr there's too many juro izumis like i'm pretty sure unless my understanding is incorrect that there is the juro izumi that protected like fought in the sentinel and protected the the city and then you know went too far lost his mind and had to have new memories implanted in him and he became Juro Karabe. And yet there's another Juro Izumi who's like from another dimension or something and he was like basically I thought just trying to fuck everyone up because he was mad. He was like mad about something or jealous because I guess his world got destroyed, so he was... I don't remember, but... Now, I don't know what Juro Izumi we were talking to, because... He said he was trying to save us, but he was from another dimension or something. So, like... I don't know. I just... I just don't know. Anyways, let's do... Wave one of the uh, second area. Okay. Clear without a sentinel being immobilized and clear within 50 seconds. Okay. Many ground kaiju will appear. And I think we will see some high quads. So. Let's see who. Who we want to use there. Hmm. All right. Let's bring a G4. Let's bring Seki Gohara. Um, let's go. Let's get Mira. I'll go. I'm ready. I don't know. Wait. I don't think I know. I wanted Ogata too. Um. Okay. Clear without a sentinel being immobilized. Clear within 50 seconds. Oh, we have 50 seconds. Okay. That's plenty of time, I think. Multiple 
Dymo signatures confirmed. We're starting to get even more of them. That's weird. They're a little different from the D-forces in the database. What do you mean? They're similar to their original designs, but they've been modified and optimized further. The system's making changes to the kaiju on the fly, specifically to fight all of you. Oh, so they got upgrades. Well, so did we! Be careful, everyone. I don't know how long we gotta hold out here, but... Not gonna back down now. Let's do this! Okay. Okay. Drop some sentries. What do I do? Lend a hand. How's the sentinel? We have the high quad here. Can we sneak around behind him? Is that a bad idea? Oh, uh, we got some dropping here. Some more stuff dropping. Railgun is always nice. I like the railguns. That was good. That was good. Man, we've got it rough. Can I reach this thing? Can I? Oh, there's another one. Where did this one come from? Oh, interceptors. Um. Oh shit. Your turn. It's a lot now. of stuff coming out at us right now. I need... Oh, she's not ready to go yet. Damn, you. Iori oh, can drop God. the uh, distracting thingy. Okay, that one back there is done for. Okay, some G molars down here. I want the guardian right now, right here. Distract those guys. The database has been updated. I guess we have number sixteen to thank for that. Database. Those little buggy bastards are even faster now. If we let any of them through, they'll swarm the terminal in seconds. Then. Even that G molar? Its power unit's been upgraded. Now it's got even more distraction. Yes, potential. yes. But we're badass! Offense. Some kind of new alloy's been integrated into the defensive shell. If the shell's harder, then we just punch it harder. That's right, Nenji. Just punch it harder. Enemy on the move. Can I check the Sentinel upgrades? Are you talking about right now or, or um, like before when we were in the, what you call it? Oh, more stuff is dropping here. Huh. Well, I know the Sekigahara could take this guy out. I'm gonna put Mira up here. Take this. How was that? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. These. Okay, another one. Let's EMP. Oh, it's not going to hit the big guy. Oh, look at this. Oh, shit. Another one. Okay. Slow these things down. Slow them down. Oh, God. There's too much. Interceptors. More interceptors. Can't mess this up. I have to focus. More sentry guns. Like right now. What now? Wait, what did I just do? Armor piercing. Okay, 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 okay. I can't quite reach with the rush attack. No room for hesitation. Okay, let's step back for a second. Oh god. Okay, you are good on EP. I'm gonna have to start. Like, Yori's out. She's gonna have to defend. They don't stand a chance. Did I get it? Thank God for the rail gun. Okay, 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 okay. Demolish your blade. Almost. Almost. Okay. Um. Railgun. Should we just finish it off? I think we should just finish him off. Yes. Good. Good. Okay, now you guys over here. More interceptors? I don't know. Are they helping are they able to get out there far enough or is he too close to the oh shit there's another one oh my god there's a lot of things happening here let's see my armor piercing rocket launchers we definitely need Okay, um... Should we throw an EMP? Because there, there's a lot of, um... Missiles flying. Don't move! Take that! Enemy down! I've got it this. Alright, I feel like everybody's in a pretty safe position. You need to charge your EP. You are just being a complete badass right now, Sekigahara, just demolishing with our demolisher. We still have our meta meta attacks. Oh, dang, I should have used... You know what? Maybe I still can. I mean, Iori's already defending. I can't cancel that, can I? I could heal my team EP which might be a good idea right now because everybody seems pretty low so we're gonna do that sweet okay i need to take these i need to start taking some stuff out here there's just a lot of enemies a lot of enemies All right. Um, what do I want to do with you? Here we go. Armor piercing. Bingo. Oh no, you don't. 
One more railgun should take out that thing. How's the sentinel? Let's move this guy over here. I think he's gonna this thing's gonna be dead before he makes it around, but then he's gonna come back through this way to get this guy anyways. Okay, let's place a sentry gun. Nice. Nice. Finish this guy off. Shit. Minami's about to get hit with that, and I just noticed the. I noticed too late. So, can I do a. I, did I get. I didn't get the. If I used gravity, would that um can't like cancel its attack, I wonder? Instant team cooldown. Oh oh oh. Move. Let's move back. There we go. What now? Sensitive Enemy on the move. Defensive mode active. Good positioning here, Mira. Target confirmed. Did I get it? Got one. Stay calm. I can do this. He's out of EP for that. Armor piercing. Oh, we can't reach. Can't reach. Okay, let's. Are we move out a little bit here. Place a guardian for distraction. Okay, this thing is way too close to us. I need to take him out. Sekigahara, he's, um, he's not there yet. Take some of these little guys out. Nice. I got it. Don't waste any chances. Okay. Oh. It's attacking the Number 11. Moving out. My spirit up. I need to move you. Gonna be okay. Need Definitely. to move you out a bit. Let's use... I don't have it! Unlock. Wait, oh, is this what you were talking about? Oh, it's before the fight. Um, can I unlock stuff right now? I can! It's like I can boost their movement speed right now. Whoa! Did you see him go? Not throwing away my shot. Number 19. Are we commence movement. Better put on a show for you, John. Are we winning? Watch out, we're coming! We're all coming! We're coming quick! We're moving fast! Come on. Did that do it? Target destroyed. Oh. Is it over already? Did you do all this data analysis? 
Do I sound like I understand all this egghead talk? I'm just relaying a message. From who? Well, that child from earlier. Chihiro did this. So she is helping us. Let's hope. Warning. Dymo signatures approaching. Dymo signatures. That means they're coming. Metasystem Sentinel upgrade has been unlocked. That's the last of them, right? I feel like upgrading our terminal and like our meta stuff um was just like early on is like super good. It's like OP. All right, how do we do? I think another I think another S rank maybe. Feel pretty good about that. Oh, did we win in 50 seconds? Yep, S rank. Okay. Okay, we did. We did clear the bonus objectives. Yes. <laughs> Seven! Woo! Oh my god! Party time! This is so exciting! Seven mystery points! We can unseal seven things, which is... Seems like a lot, but... It's probably not gonna be a lot. There's a lot of things I wanna unlock, but... The high quad. Yeah, these guys. There's something else. Officially called Colossus Class Terrain Changer. A giant roving crane kaiju that can reach heights of over 100 meters. Comes equipped with a multitude of weapons and has thick armor. Its plasma cannon fires from the top center of its body. Taking a direct hit would melt even the thickest sentinel armor due to its extreme heat levels. Yeah, I know. I've taken some of those and they hurt. It's not good. Initially developed under the under the name Shikishima Industries four-legged autonomous crane high quad 150B Mars Development Heavy Machinery Robot. That's a very long name. I see why they changed it. I see why they abbreviated it. Yakitori! This chef's masterpiece uses chicken fresh off the farm and sweet, crunchy, long onions that are doused and grilled in a secret sauce. It's forever a mystery how the fl flavor seems to gradually change every day, satisfying both the long-time regulars and first-time visitors. Um, that looks good. By Far Cry 6? Oh, right. Far Cry. Um... What is Second Graders Magazine? Okay, I think I'm going to... I don't remember. Ooh, this... Heita Takami... I, like, I, compl I don't remember who it is. <laughs> so I'm going to unseal this. Oh, Yuki's father. Okay, Heita Takamiya is Yuki Takamiya's father. Currently serving a sentence for assault and attempted murder. He's the only real... Oh, right, right. Okay, he's that. He's that guy. Okay, now I remember. Control key. That seems pretty important. The control key is a program code within one of the 15 individuals. Until the world gets destroyed, the one with the key unknowingly broadcasts command signals from their body that create a beacon, uh, create and beckon the kaiju. Initially, Ninji Ogata had the control key, but it went to Natsuno Minami after. Yes. The shootout dream, maybe? The dream that Juro Karabe told Iori Fusaka about in the science room. It's a dream about two rebels who travel back in time to bomb an interstellar development facility they believe to be the cause of an apocalypse. Karabe claims that the woman who appears in a leather jumpsuit looked just like Fusaka. This wasn't the shootout I was thinking of. I was thinking of when he actually shot, like, people. But that's okay. 
man who looks like Juro Kurabe. Mm. Who's Shintaro again? A stray, a cute stray cat that Tsukasa Okino takes care of at Sakura High. Oh, all right. He started living on campus when Okino happened upon him and began to feed him. He's earned quite a few fans at the school. So is Shintaro... They look exactly the same. It's got to be fluffy, right? Like, it's the same exact... We still have three points, and I have no idea what to unlock. Headgear. The device that Tsukasa Okino created to look inside a person's mind. He uses it to search for the key in hidden inside Ninji Uata's memories. Okino uses this to check Takatoshi Hijiyama's brain. Wearing the headgear shows all your thoughts and feelings as numerical readouts. Before losing his memories, Asa Gigahara uses this device to extract his memories and store them onto the nano machine inside his brain. Ampul. Ryoko Shinonomi finds this by Yori Fuyusaka, who was asleep in the nurse's office. It's labeled NM0206. It contained the nano machines that were administered to Fuyusaka. One more point. I really have no idea what to get. I have no idea. 2064 Kaiju Invasion. A defensive battle that took place towards the center area of Ashitaba City in 2064. Juo Karabe uh, Izumi, Ryoko Shinonome, and Asa Higahara were among the Sentinel pilot force during this battle. Sentinel number 15, piloted by Sekigahara, shut down the systems of all their Sentinels, causing the front line to collapse. Morimura pri prioritized the lives of the pilots and force transmitted all Sentinels. Tetsu Ida stayed behind and fought using a remotely controlled Sentinel. Um. Okay. Okay. Which I think was like, what, Sentinel 18 was the remote controlled one, I think? I don't remember. <laughs> 